Between Chris Pratt or Andrew Garfield, who would you choose to go on a nice steak dinner? Oh, now you're gonna make me blush. <laughs> Hey everybody, I'm Tyna Rushing and I am about to take a lie detector test. I'm John, I've been testing people since the 1980s. I will catch her if she lies. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Hi Tyner. Hi. <laughs> Do you fully consent to taking this lie detector test? Yes, but my hands are getting sweaty and I'm nervous and I'm wondering if everything is just going to read as a lie. Let's get started with some easy yes or no questions just to get a baseline. Okay. Is your full name Tyner Rushing? <laughs> no. No. True. My full name is Jessica Tyner Rushing. Were you born in Oklahoma? No. <laughs> Why did I feel nervous answering True. that? <laughs> I was born in Alabama. Are you nervous? Yes. <laughs> True. True. <laughs> Have you ever taken a lie detector test before? No. True. We got some questions from your friends and family. Does that make you more nervous? <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, True. You mentioned you grew up in Alabama. Mm -hmm. What was it like growing up there? You know, well, I grew up in the country on a red dirt road um, where the dogs run free, I like to say. Uh, I grew up uh, on a plant nursery, so it was like, sort of like a farm life experience. Is it true that you have an actual plant named after you? Yes, <laughs> I do. Um, my dad named a plant after me. He calls it um, JT Nandina Domestica because he calls me JT. Growing up, did you have close friends? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> true. <laughs> that would have been terrible if he said no. <laughs> I would just start crying. <laughs> My lonely country childhood. Oh God, okay. <laughs> do you have any pets? Yes, I do. What kind of pets do you have? I have a cat. Have you ever farted and blamed it on your cat? No. It's a lie. <laughs> Wait. Have you ever farted and blamed it on your cat? No. <laughs> it's a lie. I really don't think I have done that. Yeah, did you ever have any celebrities that were your favorites? Yes. Um, yes. Uh, Reba McIntyre was number one. I was a member of her fan club. I actually got to meet her after a concert one, one time, and she, um, she patted me on the knee, and she said, well, howdy, darling. And I wouldn't wash my knee for a long time. Uh, I was very excited about it. Reba, if you're listening to this, <laughs> uh, we should talk. I, um, I also named my dog after you as a kid. Um, I wrote a song about you. Um, I'm, I'm a little obsessed. True. Mm -hmm. Do you have any celebrity crushes currently? I do. Yeah, my... Number one celebrity crush, I think, always uh, is Kate Blanchett. True. Have you met her yet? No. No. One day. Films and or series with two well-known actors, Andrew Garfield and Chris Pratt. Is that correct? Mm-hmm. Are you a fan of comic book superheroes? No, I'm not. I actually haven't seen them in any of those movies. I'm a fan of their work but I haven't seen either of them in, well, I haven't seen Spider-Man or, isn't Chris in some more, what is he doing? He's in Guardians of the Galaxy. He's in Guardians of the Galaxy, yeah, I haven't seen that. <laughs> Sorry, Chris. <laughs> I hear you're great in it. Between Chris Pratt or Andrew Garfield, who would you choose to help you move heavy furniture? Chris. Who would you choose to go on a nice steak dinner? A nice steak dinner? Oh gosh. Oh no, you're gonna make me blush. <laughs> well, I don't know Andrew that well because we, we work together, but um, like 
we just worked on the same show. We didn't like actually work together. So it's easier for me to idealize him. So I'm just going to say Andrew Garfield. And Chris is taken. He is a married man and we are just friends. So yes, my answer is Andrew. Cool. Oh man, this is going to be embarrassing. <laughs> Have you ever had an embarrassing moment on set? I've had a lot of embarrassing moments on set. Is it true that you threw up and then fainted on the set of the terminal lift? <laughs> God. Um, okay, that's an exaggeration, whoever posed that question. I, it was really early morning, 3.30 uh, a.m. I had to get up. I didn't want to wake up the people I was living with in my house, and so I used instant coffee in my car in the dark. Uh, like, I didn't want to brew coffee in the house and wake anyone up in the kitchen. Um, but I didn't know that you're only supposed to use a small amount of um, instant coffee. Uh, so I just put a lot of it in my water bottle. Um, and by the time I got to set, I was feeling awake for sure. Not sick yet. Uh, this was a big day of filming too. Like Chris Pratt and I, it was like our scenes, our like just us, um, like big emotional scenes and stuff too. And I, I'm not feeling well. I had been in my trailer, like, you know, having to use the restroom a lot. And then they're like, they're ready for you on set. And I get to set and I am talking to the director and he's like, you don't feel so great. And I'm like, yeah, I had too much caffeine. I had instant coffee. He's like, what are you doing drinking instant coffee, Tyner? And I'm like, good question. And he's like, are you okay? And apparently I just kind of go white and I drop to my knees and I start dry heaving and crawling, trying to get out of the building uh, so I don't puke on the floor. Um, I don't think I actually vomited. I was just dry heaving um, and I didn't actually faint. Uh, but the thing is, is I have this thing called uh, va vasovagal syncope where I faint easily if I get a stomach ache. And so I w almost fainted and that's why I, I dropped to the floor. So yeah, it was really embarrassing. And everybody around, they were like yelling like, we need the medic, we got an actor down, actor's down. I'm like, oh, this is just mortifying. I didn't leave out any details, so. True. Okay. I do. Ooh. One of your friends is dying to know, have you ever pooped in the woods? Maybe once, but it's really hard to do. I wish I could poop in the woods more easily. It's because uh, I do a lot of camping and it's just, it feels very vulnerable to squat. You don't know what's behind you. You know, what's crawling on the ground underneath you. Uh, it's hard to really relax and let go and, and poop. I, I, I would like to do more of it, actually. <laughs> is it true that you locked yourself out of your house with no pants on a Sunday night? This past Sunday, I was staying at a friend's house and I ordered Uber Eats and I put my jacket on. Um, it, I put shoes on and my jacket was kind of long-ish. But I had, I, yeah, I did, had, didn't have pants on because I got sunburnt earlier in the day and pants hurt to wear. And I had a towel wrapped around my head and I tried to bring my food back in, and yes, I'm locked out. I had to walk down to a neighbor's house, um, who I don't live in this neighborhood. I, but my phone was in the, <laughs> this is in fancy Beechwood Canyon too. Um, I'm walking around with a towel and the jacket, um, no pants, and I look like a crazy lady asking people to call my friends to help me figure out how to get back into their house. True. I feel more relaxed than when I started, but maybe it's because I just put it all out there, you know? No more secrets left here. How do you think you did? Y'all said that I lied about one thing, but I don't, I wasn't lying about that. Because my cat doesn't fart, so I wouldn't like, do cats fart? That's a dog thing, right? I don't know. I feel like that was a planted question by y'all. Tyner, would you ever take one of these again? Yeah, this is fun. I would like to challenge Scott Michael Campbell. He worked on Under the Banner of Heaven with me. He plays Brigham Young. Yeah, I think he'd be fun. Fun to get some real answers out of him. You know what I mean? Thank you, everybody, for watching. This is uh, Tyner Rushing. Thanks for watching me take this lie detector test and embarrass the crap out of myself. <laughs>